Well, my daughter has a heart condition, and uh, I um, I haven't been able to reach her since last night. Yeah, so I... Yeah, so I am... Um, I'm checking all the local area hospitals. Would you? Yes, at the number that I gave you. Thank you very much. You don't have to remind me. I put out the recycling. Oh, I know, honey. Something wrong? Oh, I was just a little distracted. Uh, uh, you had basketball practice tonight? Mom, the game. You said you'd come. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I will be there. I, I, I remember now. Edmund can come. He could bring Miss Sam and Maddie. Oh, that's nice. I'll ask him. Um, here. Roast beef. Here. Off. Here. See you at the game. Okay, Dad. Oh, hey, I didn't ask Mom about tonight. What about tonight? Um... Uh, he wants you to come to his game. Oh. Don't sound too excited. Edmund, something's wrong. What is it? It's Laura. I can't really concentrate. Um, I've been trying to reach Laura since last night. I left at least a dozen messages on her on her phone and, and on her cell phone. You know, she tends to shut down when she's angry, Brooke. What do you mean? She think, you think she's screening my calls? It's possible. She's got a heart condition, Edmund. She's not going to torture me, making me wonder if she's okay. Come on. No. You know, um... Okay. This tempo business can wait, okay? Why don't we, um... Why don't we go to the building, see if the super has the key? I did that already. Yeah? She didn't come home last night. So maybe she stayed uh, at a friend's. Yeah, who? Greenlee or Bianca? I don't know. Susan? Susan? Susan ran out of here as soon as the wedding didn't go quite as planned. Laura obviously was not as good friends with her as she said. Very little about Laura is what she says it is. She came here wanting me to help her. Brooke, don't do this. Do what? Blame yourself. She wanted to talk to me, and I told her no. No, what she wanted you to do was clear the room of people you love so you could dote on her. You did the right thing. What if something is... What if something is wrong? What if she's hurt? Okay. We'll make a few phone calls, okay? Laura, thank God. What I miss? I've been trying to reach you all night. I was worried sick. I, you didn't even come home at all. I, I called your super. Whoa, why'd she do that? Laura, your condition, you know, she was worried about you. Well, for crying out loud, do I have to be on call for the rest of my life? Where were you? I was upset, so I went for a drive. I ended up practically in Ohio. So I got tired. I spent the night in a motel. Okay. I'm so sorry I worried you. I should have known you'd, you'd call and check up on me. You must have thought I was dead. Don't say that. No, I was irresponsible. I, I should have known you'd worry about me. I don't know, Mama. I just, I haven't been myself. But after everything you've been through and losing your daughter, your first Laura, but nothing's going to happen to me, okay? I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Okie doke. Enough of this. You must be starving. Hmm. You know I am. Okay, come on. And I'll make you something to eat. Just take a minute. I'll be right back. 
So, you guys working together? Yeah, that's the plan. <clears throat> nice of you to look after my mom. I care about her. Uh-huh. Spent the night? Laura, your mom's a very optimistic person. But after losing a child, you know, there's certain emotional triggers that are really easy to pull, you know what I mean? Edmund, I lost my real mother in a fire. I know what it's like to lose someone suddenly. So do I. What I'm saying is it would be really a great thing if you could just sort of be aware of how much you mean to your mother. Well, thank you for that input. I'm sure you guys have a lot of work to do, so... Laura, am I being dismissed? I didn't say that. You don't like me very much anymore, do you? Well, I do have to get back to work. And now that I know that you're okay, I don't have to worry about your mom anymore. Today. Do have one question for you, though? What's that? Do you ever think, even for a minute, about your mother being happy? I just um, came in to see if you were hungry enough for waffles. Uh, actually, I'm not hungry after all. I think I just want to go home and get in my own bed. I'll eat later, okay? Honey, you don't have to go. Well, I'm intruding, apparently. So, yeah. I do. What happened in here? I'll let you two talk, okay? No, I, I want you here for this. For what, Mom? For what I want to say to you. I drove 500 miles last night. I don't think I really have it in me for a lecture. Well, what makes you think it's going to be a lecture? Your boyfriend hates me, Mom. Oh, come on, Laura. He wants you to hate me, too. That is so unfair. You hear yourself? You're already taking his side. Laura. Laura, stop this. Now, I don't know what went on when I was in the kitchen making coffee, but I heard what Edmund asked you before. Do you want me to be happy? Or not? What do you mean, of course I want you to be happy? You've given me everything. You gave me life. I mean, I, I know I'm not, it's not like I'm Jamie, but... Do you think I love you less because I adopted you? I don't know. Oh, Laura, why? God, don't you get how much I love you? I get that you see a pathetic loser kid who gets her lunch out of a garbage can. It's not what I see. It's what everyone it's sees. It's what you see. And I would give anything to make that go away, what happened before. It's not your job. I don't think of it as my job. I love you. I love you, and I, I want you to see yourself the way I see you. You are talented. You're strong. You're a survivor. It's a crock. <laughs> Just like you say how proud you are of me. Why I am proud of you. I'm proud of you because you... You know, because you've, you've survived. I mean, and, 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 and Phoebe, don't you know she adores you too? And Jamie, honey, don't, don't you, don't you feel that? I'm not a kid, Mom. I know that. So I guess we don't need each other anymore. You're all set. Of course, I want you to be happy. Okay? You're not leaving until I am finished with you. I'm not going to choose between you and Edmund, and you know why? Because there shouldn't have to be a choice, Laura. I didn't ask you to choose, Mom. You're not listening. You haven't listened to anyone. Except that little tiny voice, that insecure voice in you that keeps telling you that the world is out to get you. I thought I wasn't going to get a lecture today. I thought you were smarter than this, honey. I, 
I better than anybody know the hell that you've gone through. All right? And when I say I am proud of you, I mean that from the core of my soul. Because you did it. You pulled through. You survived. And yet you still want to undo everything that you have. All your natural gifts, all your beauty, and I am sick of it. Wait a minute. You have to listen, all right? You used to know how. Okay, I'm listening. You came in here last night with all these demands, and you didn't even realize what you were trying to undo, which was your family, me, and, and your Aunt Phoebe, and, and Jamie, and, and Edmund, too. I mean, you know, you came in here, you're in the middle of a room full of people who love you and you don't realize it because you think that because you don't think that you're worthy of that kind of love how shrinky you stop okay because i'm your mother and i love you but you can't ask me to just have that and nothing else, okay? You you are my priority. But you may not always come first. And I need you. I need you to get that in your head. And understand that. Can you do that? Because I'm worried about you, honey. Because you're on a dark and lonely path and it's solely of your own choosing. And it makes me feel very sad for you. It's great. Can I go now? No. Don't you think I'm a little old to be sent to my room? Laura, listen to what your mom is saying. I hear her loud and clear. But I would rather die than talk about any of this in front of you. How about that, Edmund? Uh, look at it this way. I gotta take this. Excuse me. I love you. And that makes me the luckiest girl you, you know. have got to stop testing my love. Unless you want to wreck our relationship the way you wrecked your marriage. You are not supposed to contact me directly. What choice do I have? Huh? Please, Edmund, come over here now. You're jeopardizing the assignment. It's too late for that, right? Mateo's missing. Proteus what? must have snared him. Where have you looked? Come here first. Haley's freaking out. And she's going to say the wrong thing to the wrong person and get herself and who knows who else killed. Okay. I'll be right there. So what? It's all my fault? Never mind the fact that Leo never loved me or lied to me all through our marriage. Leo lied to himself, too. So that wins him points? He's a prince for, for saving a dying sick girl? When did I become a villain? Leo and Greenlee are not blameless, but we're talking about you, honey, and your responsibility for what happened. You have no idea how much I loved him. Of, of course I do. But what he felt for you was not enough. And you didn't give it time to grow because you were insecure. Well, with good reason. Where is he now? He's with her. Honey, everything that you did, you needed proof of his love constantly. You constant bids for his attention. You were, tried to sabotage Greenlee. It pushed him away from you. He was faking it all along. He never loved me like I loved him. No, he didn't, but how could he? That's low. Laura... You made him the center of your world. You know, you, you made him your whole universe, and, and, and the rest of us, we just, you know, we slipped into some black hole somewhere. That's not true. I never stopped loving you. What you did with Leo, you, you made him into a religion. And you demanded that he do the same with you. Honey, it, it's not healthy. And I will not let you do the same with me. I'm not trying to. When you came here last night, you wanted me to get rid of everybody for you. 
your Aunt Phoebe, Edmund. I don't have to cut those people out of my life to make room for you. Because the room is there for you. You are already in it. You sound like a dear Aggie column. Uh, Laura. Honey. My world revolved around you when you were sick. Okay? I lost sight of everything and everybody outside of your health. I was dying. You're supposed to put a dying child first. First? Yeah, but that means that there's a second and, and maybe even a third. But that was not true for me, okay? Nothing else mattered. I lost all objectivity, Laura, and I am to blame as much as Leo. Because I wanted you to be the shoe in choice for him. Anything, anything to make sure that you had the will to live and that you were going to be happy in that life. Where's the crime in that? Because I cheated you of true love. But I wanted Leo. We don't always get what we want. And my trying to give you everything that you wanted, I didn't give you the help that you needed. Which was what? Having me institutionalized. Laura, blinding myself to your mistakes also made me lose sight of my own life. But I found my way back to Edmund, and I love him, and I want to have a future with him. Okay. So you've made your choice. Why are you beating me up? Oh, because don't you know that love means that you share? I mean, my God, haven't I taught you anything? <laughs> I will love you as long as I live and beyond. And it doesn't matter what either of us do ever. You will always be my daughter. You will never lose me. And you have to trust me, Laura. You have to trust me. I can't. Yes, you can. No. You all say that, but it doesn't last. My first mom left me and Leo left me and I can't handle it again. I can't. We're all afraid of being alone. You? You have everything. You have this house, your career, your family. Everyone loves you. You've got it all. I love my life. The one that you see now. But when that drunk driver hit my little girl, he nearly killed me too. I wanted to be dead. I wanted to be with her. And that defined every relationship that I had since. I mean, how could I trust that Edmund's love would last if I gave myself to him? How could I not think that maybe I would lose him? So you get what I'm talking about? Sure, honey. You know, so... I mean, instead of committing, I ran away. And uh, Edmund moved on, and he found Maria, and he fell happily in love, and... And I was hurt, and so I, uh... I just hid my heart away. No one's ever gonna hurt me again. <sighs> Driving love away is not gonna stop what's gonna happen, okay? My darling, you've been given a second chance in life. And you have to be happy, and you have to trust that love is going to come your way. I screwed my life up. Oh, just a little bit. You know what most of us do at some point or another. You are worthy of being loved, and you don't have to test that every five minutes, okay? Life throws enough interferences in our way. You don't have to add to them. 
believe me. When I was in the hospital, feeling so dead. Oh, honey, you don't have to think about that anymore. I was just listening to the machines. And I thought as long as I heard it beeping and saw the fluids moving through the tubes that I was still alive. But I kept expecting it to stop. But it didn't. And you're alive and you're strong. And it was like a miracle, but it felt like a trick. Why should I get somebody else's heart? And once I did, I wanted everything at once in case it didn't last. And that everything that you wanted was Leo. Leo, happiness. I wanted to beat Greenlee. I wanted to win. And if anybody got in my way or got hurt, tough. After everything I'd been through, the hurt would make them stronger. And if it didn't, I didn't care. Do you care now? I want to. I want what you wish for me. I want to be not so afraid and jealous and angry. I want the kind of love you think I can have. Then you will have it. And I will help make sure that you do. There's something I have to do first. Something I have to do alone. I should have guessed you'd tag along. What are you looking for? Oh, trap door, buzz saw that'll come out of the floor when we least expect it, that sort of thing. Hate to disappoint you, but I just wanted to make peace with Leo. I'm sorry for every horrible thing I've done to you. I want us to be friends. That's the craziest thing you've ever said, and that's saying a lot. Pathetic strategy, Laura. As if we'd be dumb enough to let our guards down based on that lame apology. You're so predictable, Greenlee. Like your opinions matter to me. You know, of all the mistakes I've made, I think stooping to Greenlee's level was probably the lowest and the costliest. Oh, so this is about money. You're hoping that we'll give you some kind of settlement to set Leo free? I meant my lies and cheating and what it did to me as a person. Here. So? I have to sign this to continue the lawsuit against you. Do you mind if I talk now? So? Oh, like there's only one copy, please. I've done the old paper switch myself. No, oh, you can... Check, make sure it's the original. Or call my attorney, I'll tell you it's over. Proving you wrong still makes me all warm and fuzzy, Greenlee. Is this on the level? It is the original, Leo. I didn't expect either of you to believe me, but when the divorce goes through uncontested and the lawsuit stopped, I think it'll sink in. Thanks, assuming it's true. Can I speak with Leo alone, private, privately? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You can't trust me, and I hate that it's my fault, but thank you for coming by to say goodbye. Well, we'll still see each other around? Yeah, maybe someday. I don't get it. Um, I'm leaving town. I'm taking control of my life. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a great idea, Laura, but you can't just leave your mom and everyone else behind. Well, my mom read about this place for people whose lives have changed because of medical conditions to help them make sense of it. But you'll be back. Yeah, every so often to visit my family. So this is really goodbye. What a relief, huh? I hope you find what you're looking for, Laura. I really do. It's the nicest thing you could have said to me. 
Brace yourself, Greenlee. Are you ready to come clean? Tell me what's really going on here? I'm leaving. I'm moving away. Well, good luck. Sounds like you're making some really great changes. Well, some things will always stay the same. Like I'll always hate the sight of your face, Greenlee. Oh, oh, you want to sling mud? Is that what you want okay, to do? Time to go. Time to go. Good luck with Greenlee, Leo. Okay. Bye bye. Greenlee, yeah. What's going on? Uh, amazing stuff. Yeah. Well, the two of you are still standing. That's a good sign. And then I want to apologize. I've been nasty to you, and it's only because I've been thinking of myself. You make my mom happy, and nothing else matters. What did I miss? Mom will fill you in. Who was that? Laura realizes that she has a lot of work to do. Work? To be the person that she wants to be. And she can't accomplish that here. So she's saying goodbye. Goodbye.